Rise and shine my blossoming beauties and welcome to part one of the LGBTQ plus flags makeup series 2022 edition. So first we're going to be starting off with the polyamorous flag. So if you want to know how to get this polyamorous, oh fuck my hair, if you want to know how to get this polyamorous inspired look, just keep on watching. So first I'm going to take my blasting finish primer and this, and I'm going to just use that and smear it all in my face and then rub it in. And this is the first ever video that I'm filming with my brand new camera, which is very exciting for me because I'm so glad I finally get to use it and stop being lazy and all that. Next, I'm going to take my foundation and then I'm going to um, apply a few squishes on my face. So I'm going to apply one part on my cheek and one on the other cheek as well. I'm going to do one squirt on my forehead and then one underneath my neck. And then I'll take my beauty blender and then I'll just blend it all in. Next, I'm going to take my concealer. I'm going to apply it um, underneath my eyes to do like little curvy circles and all that. Wait, wait curvy circles? I don't even know if that's a thing. Hang on. If, I mean, circles are sort of like curves. Actually, no. Do circles curve? I don't know. Hang on. Actually, no, just do circle. Half circles under your eyes. And then I'm going to do one strick slash fuck. A swish on my nose. And then I'm going to apply it to several other like spots on my face. And then I'll take my beauty blender and then I'll just blend them all in. Next I'll take a fluffy brush, and then I'll get some powder foundation, and I'm going to use that as my setting powder. So, I'm going to um, swish it all over my face in swirling motions, and then as well as my neck as well, and all that. Next I'll take my eye primer, and I'm going to squirt like a little bit on my eyelids, on each of my eyelids, and then taking my beauty blender I'll just blend them in, and sort of like blend it out to the outer regions as well. But I'll still go with now, oh fuck, now I'll go into my um, smoky eyes palette, and taking that black shade, I'm going to take a slightly fresh fluffy brush and start blending on the outer regions, sort of like cut the crease with it. And then I'll sort of like dip a little bit more eyeshadow and then sort of blend it, apply it to like the slightly outer regions to try and like blend it, fade it out more. It was just me making sure I was actually in the frame. Next I'm going to take my Wahala 2 palette and then I'm going to take that blue shade and then taking the same brush I'm going to apply that to the middle section of my outer eye region as well as blending it in with the black. Then I'm going to take the lighter blue shade, and I'm going to apply that to the inner corners of the eyes. Again, blending it with the, the other shade of blue. Now I'm going to take a smaller brush, you're taking that blue shade, I'm going to apply that directly in the middle, no, not the middle, in the direct corner, the inner corners. Now I'm going to go into my Pure Imagination palette, and taking that Brett Maroney shade, I'm going to apply that directly on the, on the top of the crease. So cut the crease and blend those the colours with the crease. Then I'll take that red shade, and then I'll just apply that to the center of the lids. Then I'll take that metallic red shade, 
And I'm just going to um, pack that onto the rest of the, the center of that lid. Then I'll take that red shade again, and taking a fluffy brush, fluffy brush, I'm just going to blend that with the black on the edges a little bit. Then I'll take my Feel the Heat palette, and taking that gold metallic shade, or yeah, metallic shade, I don't remember, and I'll apply that directly into the inner corners. Now I'll start doing my eyeliner. So first I'm going to take my eyeliner pencil, and I'm going to apply that on the under eye, uh, to the underline my eye, my under eyes. For some reason, I don't know why it wasn't coming out, like all at once this one time. I don't know why that was. And plus, I mean, I'm constantly like checking to make sure that like I'm actually in the frame, just because like I've done repositioning with how I normally set up my mirror, so I'm having to look downward now. Um, so I wasn't, sh so I was just double checking to make sure I'm in the frame, because it's always like my constant fear throughout this video. Considering it was like a new setup and all that. Next, I'm gonna take my liquid eyeliner, and I'm going to start um, drawing on the line. I'm gonna do it a bit sideways-ish. I'm still experimenting just to see like if it's better for me to like give me my eye shape and all that, and how um, how much room I have for my lids. Because cause, I mean, I don't have a lot of eye room for like my eyebrows as well, so it's like I don't know if like. If doing my eyeliner sideways or upward would be better for me. Um, so I'm still experimenting with that. Then I'll take my eyelash curler, and I'm going to press down on the upper lashes and sort of like bend up a little bit for a few seconds. And then I'll take my mascara, and then sort of like roll the wand upwards for the upper lashes, and then roll them downward for the lower lashes. Also if you notice as to why I'm not like holding the products directly up towards the camera is because um, it doesn't focus on, on like specific item. This camera doesn't focus on specific items. If I had to like make it adjust to zoom in to like look at whatever the product is to focus on it, I have to like manually adjust the camera to like to focus on that item and that's just too much of a hassle because then once I was done showing it off I'd have to switch it back to its um normal setting for my, when I'm just doing my face. But next I'm going to start doing my brows and taking that brown shade, just using an angled brush to fill it in. Then I'll just take my blending brush and just sort of fan out and blend out the rest of the brows as well as using a beauty blender. Now I'll take my bronzer and contour. I know it says bronze on the cover, but it also says it's contour, so like, don't go off at me for that. And as you can see, I grabbed the wrong brush. But anyway, taking that um, fluffy angle brush, I'm going to do upward and downward motions from um, just the center part of my face. And then I'll dip into the contour again, and this time I'll blend it out more, so I'll apply it to the same position, same center, but I'll also apply it to um, start blending out to the bottom part of my cheeks, so that way it blends out more, more fady. Then I'll take my red blush and just sort of like um, pat on it, on, on my face, and then just, then just do swishes. So now I'm going to start drawing on the pie symbols. So I'm going to take some yellow face paint, I'm going to activate it with some water, and I had to actually like um, Google search up an image of the pie symbol just because I forgot exactly what it looked like, and it also needs to like get the um, perspective correct. So I'm taking a small brush. I'm just going to start drawing on the pie symbol on like both sides of my face. I mean, like it's going to be like inverted for like the other side, so the pointiest side's going to be. Oh, excuse me. Um. I, I don't know how to explain it. And 
that's going to take some metallic yellow eyeshadow, and I'm just going to sort of like apply it on um, the plastic just to give it more depth. Well, not depth, but just give it shine. Then I'm going to take some red matte eyeshadow and taking a fluffy brush, I'm just going to apply that all around the edges of the plastic walls just to start giving it more dimension. So don't worry if you end up getting some of it on the, um, on the symbols because I just end up um, going over it again with more yellow paint anyway. Then I'll take that brown shade in my um, Feel the Heat palette and I'm just going to apply that on several edges of the thing just to give it more depth. So I'm not going to apply the entire thing on like all of the red that I just applied. It's just going to be like the in, like the corners and the edges of it. And there I am just applying more yellow paint because just to make it pop more. And then I'm going to my highlight and I'm going to be taking a smaller fluffy brush and I'm going to do swirling motions on the center of my nose and upward down strikes on the bridge of my nose. Then I'll do um, swirling motions on both my cheeks and my chin. Then I'll take my red lipstick, and I'm going to use that to color in my lips. Then I'll take my red lip gloss by Juvia's Place, and I'm going to cover that all over my lips. Then I'll just get my setting spray, and then the look will be complete. And you're done. Your polyamorous flag inspired look is now complete. my polyamorous flag makeup tutorial. I'll see you when I do the next flag.